coccidiosis. That word alone strikes fear into the hearts of all fanciers, as well as it should since coccidiosis is the number one killer of young pigeons. But while a good dose of caution is needed, never fear because I want to share with you how to prevent and treat coccidiosis naturally without using medicated pigeon feed, antibiotics or vaccinations. Let's start with a little information about what exactly coccidiosis is and why it's so bad. Coccidiosis is a disease of the intestinal tract caused by the microscopic parasites called coccidia. It is a single-celled microscopic parasite that enters the pigeon's body by ingesting the parasite egg on the ground. The parasite then multiplies in the intestine and is finally expelled through the pigeon droppings. At this point, other pigeons will become infected when they accidentally ingest the coccidia parasite. The youngsters can all be quickly infected, most often spread by bringing infected pigeons to your loft, or by stray pigeons, it is then picked up by your pigeons through contact with infected droppings or through drinking water containing droppings. The coccidia parasite is almost impossible to eradicate completely, but freezing temperatures, drought, sunlight and ammonia will kill the parasite. Coccidia multiply in hot, humid, dirty and crowded conditions. Luckily, healthy adult pigeons usually have a strong enough immune system to not be affected. What are the symptoms of coccidia, coccidiosis? The pigeons do not eat anymore, lose weight. They have diarrhea with white or green feces, sometimes mixed with blood, in the late stage of the illness. A form of rickets is observed in young people. Beware of hot and humid weather. Humidity and a mild temperature promote sporulation. Once sporulated, the oocysts are quite resistant in the external environment and there is no intermediate host, the cycle is direct. It is the youngsters that are most susceptible to contracting coccidiosis. They present with greenish diarrhea and lose weight. In adults, coccidiosis is most often without clinical signs, accompanied by loss of form, fatigue during flights, or even diarrhea. Young pigeons can also be vaccinated early but neither method is something champion pigeon fanciers, nor recommend. Instead, they focus on natural ways to prevent coccidiosis. Various herbs and other natural substances have been studied and thought to help fight coccidiosis, apple cider vinegar, cinnamon, garlic, green tea, oregano, thyme and turmeric. Oil of oregano, thyme, Turmeric and cinnamon have recently been studied and tested at various large pigeon farms as natural antibiotics, while cider vinegar, garlic and green tea all contribute to strengthen the immune system. Regularly add cinnamon, garlic, green tea and oregano to your pigeon's feed. This mixture contributes to their well-being. Adding apple cider vinegar and garlic to their water is also beneficial. Here are some easy ways to incorporate natural immune system boosters into the diets of your young and old pigeons, to help ward off disease and prevent coccidia and other bad bacteria and pathogens from multiplying. 1. Brew oregano tea, using fresh or dried oregano, cool to room temperature and serve. 2. Chop fresh garlic, oregano and thyme with 2.5 liters of water. Its antiviral, antimicrobial and antiseptic properties treat fungal infections, scabies, herpes. 3. Add fresh or dried oregano, and thyme, along with cinnamon and turmeric, to a favorite treat like brown peanut. Once your pigeons have tasted it, they are eager. 4. Incorporate ground cinnamon, garlic powder, turmeric, green tea, and dried oregano, into their daily diet. 5. Add a few drops of oil and oregano in drinking water. 6. Adding a clove of crushed garlic, and a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, polita, is administered to pigeons for two consecutive weeks. The application frequency is one time per day, as an immune system stimulation. Despite your best preventative measures, if you notice symptoms, collect a sample of the droppings, and take it to your veterinarian. Coccidiosis can be detected, or confirmed, with a fast test at the veterinary office. To conclude, it is necessary to maintain strict hygienic conditions, so as not to favor the spread of the parasite. The ground, and the lockers, must be dried with a blowtorch, and covered with white powder specially designed for dovecoats.